Rukio is absolutely wrong, it's stronger than you think. What's up everybody, my name is Clemen and today we're gonna be talking about the true power of Rukio's absolute zero. Uh, as everybody should know, um, after the training in the Soul King's Palace, um, Rukia awakened her like true Soul no Shirayuki, and even just Shikai, she gained this power of true absolute zero, which I'm gonna explain what it is. And her bankai goes even beyond it, um, as everybody should know. So let's just get into it. Rukia's absolute zero is different from conventional absolute zero. The notion that there is ultimately lowest temperature was suggested by behavior of gases seem to contract indefinitely as temperature decreases. It, it appeared that an ideal gas at constant pressure would reach zero, zero volume and what is now called absolute zero temperature. Any real gas actually condenses to a liquid or solid at some temperature higher than absolute zero. Therefore, ideal gas law is only an approximation to its real behavior. As such, however, it's extremely useful. Near zero electrons continue to quote unquote whiz around inside atoms says quantum uh, physicist uh, Christopher Sanfoot of the University of Oxford. Moreover, even absolute zero atoms would uh, not be completely stationary. That would quote unquote jiggle around, but would not have enough energy to change state. In musical terms, if it's an atom cannot go from C to high C, it still vibrates but cannot change its wave pattern, its energy is at the minimum. But the matter cannot reach absolute zero because of quantum nature of principles. This has to do with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. We can never know its speed unless precisely know its position. If an atom could reach absolute zero, its temperature would be precisely zero, which implies the exact speed of zero. But knowing that atoms speed exactly, that means that we know nothing about its position. But matter cannot reach absolute zero because of quantum nature of principles. This has to do with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. We can never know exactly the particle speed and position. In fact, the more precise we know its speed, the less precise we know its position. If an atom could reach absolute zero, its temperature would be precisely zero, which implies exact speed of zero. But knowing that atom speed exactly means we know nothing about at all about its position. Uh, quote unquote, there's, there is really no physical description that allows for an atom at zero temperature, says Eric Kramer at uh, Fermilab. If, if an atom could attain absolute zero, it's a wave function that would extend across the universe, which means the atom is located nowhere. Infinite or 4D depends what dimensional level you think Rukia is. Energy. Absolute zero uh, is a temperature marked by zero entropy configuration. It is the coldest temperature uh, theoretically possible and cannot be reached by artificial or natural means. Temperature is entropically defined a uh, quantity that effectively determines the number of thermodynamical accessible states of a system within an energy range. Absolute zero possesses quantum mechanical zero-point energy. Having a limited temperature has several thermodynamic consequences. For example, at absolute zero, all molecular motion uh, does not cease, but does not have enough energy to transfer to other systems. It is therefore correct to say that at zero Kelvin, molecular energy is minimal. In addition, any particle with zero energy would violate Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which states that the location of the momentum of a particle cannot be known at the same time. A particle uh, at absolute zero would be at rest, so both position and momentum, which is zero, would be known simultaneously. By international agreement, absolute zero is defined as zero Kelvin on the Kelvin scale, which is a um, thermodynamic absolute temperature scale, and uh, minus 273.15 degrees on the Celsius scale. 
Through this is theoretically possible to cool any substance to zero Kelvin. Scientists have made a great advancement in achieving temperature close to absolute zero. Where matter uh, exhibits quantum effects such as super uh, conductivity and super fluidity for uh, kinematics of, of the molecules on a larger scale, which is uh, easier to understand to see in kinetic energy. By the third law, entropy is zero, zero Kelvin. If you think about what temperature is, it's a measure of internal randomized energy in a material. Absolute zero at the point at which thermal motion stops entirely. In a classic terms, everything stops at absolute zero, but in reality, quantum mechanics are the rules. We cannot even measure the exact position or momentum of a particle uh, with uh, perfect certainty, which um, implies Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Thus, in quantum world, every motion is governed by uncertainty. We cannot even measure particles as not having motion. Thus, absolute zero is never attainable, but true can make that possible. That's why we call it true absolute zero. For better understanding of thermal motion and why is it important, thermal motion refers to a random uh, motion of mo molecules, atoms, electrons, other subatomic particles. Unlike the visible world around us, the atomic world is in constant state of motion at all temperature above absolute zero. The thermal motion of particles rises with the temperature of those particles and is governed by the laws of uh, thermodynamics. Thermal motion of a particle is related to the temperature of that particle. Particles at higher temperature exhibit greater motion than the lower temperatures. Uh, the, the true of particles in any state of matter including gas, liquid, solid or plasma. Through the atoms in a solid are closer together than the atoms in liquid or gas, there is still space for atoms to move around. The thermal motion of atomic particles was first described by Robert Brown. When viewing small particles such as grain of pollen or piece of dust under a microscope, Brown noticed that the particles seem to have a constant state of motion. Uh, the motion of the atoms around a small particle causes the atoms to bump into it. This makes a larger particle move around randomly, just as atom particles do. This type of motion is referred to as Brownian motion. Thermal motion is studied through thermodynamics, which has a lot of set laws that govern the random movements of particles. The first law states that matter and energy are always conserved. The second somewhat Paradoxically states that the return of the previous energy state is impossible because some energy escapes from the system and can never be used again. And the first states that absolute zero cannot be attained. Simply put, the laws uh, mean that motion is a random motion that never ends and always changes. In conclusion, not only does Rukia have in an infinite energy output and infinite range, uh, with this, but also can make any form of energy or motion and stop time with anything that comes contact with it. If anybody disagrees or wants to talk about it, so my Discord server is uh, gonna be pinned down in the description and see you in the next video.